Hello friends. Let's add interstitial add on your splash screen. First, let's add a new project in Android Studio. So I am going to give splash screen as the name. So company domain as a com dot dot splash screen and again this is as a package name okay so i'm going to deselect this include kotlin support because this project is a java project and next and next and empty activity as our main activity and next i'm going to rename this file name as splash okay main activity to splash okay now click finish okay now let's add this project to our admob dashboard open your browser and visit to apps.admob.com and here you can click apps tab and you can add app by clicking this button and if you publish it your app in google play you can click yes now i am going to select no because this app is not available in google play no and platform is android and app name as uh, example splash screen okay now let's end okay now let's create a unit for our interstitial ad interested to land and click select here i'm going to give a name for that uh, okay this is our add unit name now let's create a unit okay now click done now go back to your android studio in android studio in top bar you have to click file and uh, project structure click adds and select this add mob item now you can add the dependency for add mob now click ok okay now i'm going to update this dependency version to latest one by clicking alt with enter we can change to latest ver version okay now i see some error here to fix this that one uh, we can add this by clicking alt with enter right now click sync now now go to your manifest file in app folder manifest android manifest.xml here uh, below in this one you have to add the new metadata metadata again let's see metadata and android name android colon name equals double quotation and inside double quotations com dot google dot android dot gms dot ads dot capital in capital application underscore and id okay after that uh, you have to enter android value android colon value now you have to give your admob app id go back to your admob dashboard go to app settings and here you can copy your admob app id paste it here 
okay now let's close this code now let's create a new java class in our package let's create new java class i'm going to give name as my app and this should be eccentric application extends application now let's create a on create method in this braces on create below on super dot on create i'm going to write a mobile apps dot initialize and this this is context and our add mob app id we have to copy it and paste it here with a double quotation okay now go to your manifest file again in this application area enter android colon name equals and double quotation inside double quotation your new java cloud java class name my name is dot my app okay now let's do our splash screen code we all done first i'm going to create a new variable for our interstitial add interstitial add m in sorry m interstitial add close it close it with semicolon now m industrial add equals with new industrial add new industrial add now this context i'm going to use this okay if you get some issue if you using this on a fragment you can use get activity okay now we have to give install add add unit id to do it m install add dot set add unit id now we have to create double quotation now we have to copy our add unit id okay now let's paste it now when you adding a uh, interstitial ads on splash screen you have to preload interstitial ad before starting the main class if not you will get a warning from admob and you will get suspend by admob to preload interstitial ad it might be take 5 or 6 seconds now we have to load interstitial ad that is final step in preloading let's load m interstitial at dot load at i also recommend you have to read this page this allowed interstitial implementation i will include this link in video description okay now let's go back Here we have to write a new add request. To do it, new add request dot builder bracket open and close. Now, if you get some error, you have to click Alt and enter and import this class alt with enter and here after builder and bracket open and close dot build 
bracket open and close okay okay now everything is fine in preload criteria now we have to add a timer if you are loading your data on website it don't scare it need five or six seconds to load interstitial net it depends on users uh, network connection now let's add a new timer new handler dot post delete let's close this with uh, semicolon inside this post delayed bracket new runnable you will get suggest by android studio click it runnable and here before this bracket you have to add a comma and milliseconds one seconds equals with uh, 1000 milliseconds now we need uh, 5 or 6 seconds it's equals with uh, 6 seconds equal with 6000 millisecond and here in public void run method we can check if an interstitial at is loaded okay else now in this if we are going to show our interstitial ad that's all in this else if interstitial ad is failed to load we can do a function now let's create a function as a new load create a method by clicking alt plus enter and uh, choose target class as our main class here we can start a new activity when finish it the load and now we have created a new at listener to our interstitial lead below on this load that code I'm going to add it in interstitial at dot set add listener in this bracket new add listener and bracket open and close here we have to create a new space like this create the braces like this now inside braces you have to call for on add close method and here below on the support and closet code you had to call for your do function you can start calling to this class when uh, add this fail fail to load or when at closet now we are done with our interstitial add now we can add a new activity app new activity now let's finish go back to your splash screen in do function you can start your activity please understand this code and implement this code to your project now let's create an intent here start activity new intent splash dot this and our new class is main activity dot class okay now let's me explain finally first preload is important you can see we have preload our interstitial and here also we have created set at listener 
to detect when user is closer the at and do our final tasks also time is important to preload the ad it takes 5 or 6 seconds to preload interstitial ad it might depends on uh, users internet connection also you have to check for im interstitial ad is loaded before you are going to show your interstitial ad also if interstitial ad is not ready to load you have to do a final task I mean a call to final function by creating a else statement okay that's all please subscribe to my youtube channel you can find me on youtube.com slash s-c-i-k-e-r